As someone who has observed countless musicians practicing over the years, I've noticed a recurring pattern of mistakes that hinders their process and their progress, regardless of the skill level. Uh, the good news, though, is I want to share with you today these mistakes and provide some practical solutions to fix them once and for all. Now, in this video, I reveal the four most damaging practice mistakes that musicians often make, and I've done it myself, along with uh, some proven strategies to overcome them. The best part is these insights apply to musicians at any stage of their musical journey, including beginners and professionals alike. Now, it's crucial to understand that addressing these current practice mistakes can yield more significant results than simply adding new advanced techniques to your, to your routine. Because while cutting edge strategies may seem sexy and enticing, true breakthroughs happen when you identify and rectify the mistakes, the obstacles that actually are holding you back right now in your practice. So here is the first mistake practicing too fast. And I want to explain the often overlooked aspects of this issue. I st always stress the importance of practicing at a very slow pace, allowing for relaxation in both body and mind. And by doing so, you cultivate an effortless feeling that translates into better performance at faster tempos. You want to give your brain time to process and learn difficult, complicated information. Another common mistake is mindless practice, basically relying on repetitions without paying proper and deliberate attention. Now, it's really important to be deliberate in your focus, to pay attention to every detail, to think about what you're doing, because only deliberately engaging and reflecting on your practice can you create these lasting changes in your brain and see the long-term progress that you crave. Now, on top of this, there's the misconception of measuring practice in terms of time spent in the studio rather than the quality and the focus of the repetitions. So the key here is to prioritize high quality repetitions that are infused with, again, focus, attention, rather than simply clocking in more practice hours by thinking while thinking about your dinner or what you're gonna do later. Lastly, having a clear understanding of what you're working on is really crucial. Don't have vague ideas. If you are lacking in specificity, you become inconsistent and the practice just loses its usefulness. I want to offer you practical tips for breaking down your practice into specific sections, focusing on the aspects that require improvement. Now, while this video covers only a portion of these valuable insights, it provides enough guidance to significantly enhance your music practice. If you're interested in delving deeper, of course, I also offer a comprehensive practice hacking course, which you can find through the link in the video description. Now, before I go, I want to kindly ask you for your support by liking this video if you find it helpful. Uh, it always means a lot to me and encourages me to create more content to assist musicians like yourself. So let's not wait any longer. Let's start transforming your practice routine for the better. And of course, if you want to receive exclusive practice and performance tips, don't forget to sign up for my free emails at thedisamultus.com. I want to thank you for your time, your dedication to your musical journey. Take care. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.